Hi guys, welcome to my latest Tech Trend channel. Today I am going to talk about universal flash storage, the UFS 3.0 technology. Wait, what? UFS 3.4? You guys must be wondering, do we actually care what storage we have in our smartphones or tablets? Well, the answer for this question is yes, we should be. Because our future technology is going to change. We are stepping towards 5G era. If you want to find out the necessity of this UFS 3.0 technology in 5G era, watch the video till the end. Without any further delay, let's get started. In 2019, we have blazing fast 7 nanometer chipsets with fast processing cores and incredible graphics and even dedicated AI and AR engines. Smart devices have come a long way in terms of storage options with regards to their speed and performance. In near future, we are going to enter 5G era which offers data rates at GBPS speeds. And also Wi-Fi 6 and 60GHz Wi-Fi are on their way to offer multi-GBPS speeds. These technologies are all interconnected to UFS 3.0 technology. The performance of our smartphones is dependent on number of factors. The quality of the storage is one of the important factors that impacts our daily usage. Typically, smartphones and tablets have been using EMMC based storage for a long time. EMMC means embedded multimedia cards. With this kind of storage, we see lags and stutters when we use our smartphones in long run. Let's dive a little deeper to know how internal storage and LAM impacts our smartphone performance. To understand this, let me explain the app loading process in smartphones. In our smartphones, apps like PUBG, Temple and etc get installed on the internal flash storage. When you press the game icon on the screen, the game assets are loaded into RAM. If you want to play heavier games, there is no way that all of the game assets are loaded into memory at the same time. Because if the entire game gets loaded to the RAM, it may cause other apps to crash. So only the required portion will get loaded first. Now the required game assets are loaded into RAM. It's the CPU's responsibility to execute the app instruction from the RAM. App launching and processing times mainly depends on flash storage and RAM. After multiple apps get loaded to RAM, the RAM space gets filled up. If you try to open more apps, which cause apps to crash, because there is no room to load the new app. In order to avoid crashing, some of the older and less used apps must be either killed or swapped with the flash storage. To do this, RAM and flash storage are fast enough. If not so, we see lags and stutters. And also we constantly update our apps to get the new features. This makes the app heavier and occupies more space. And the app launch time gets significantly increased. Unless we have faster and efficient RAM and faster flash storage, we see lags in long run. In order to address all these issues, we have new technologies like LPDDR4 or 4X and even it's been rumored that Samsung is going to launch new LPDDR5 RAM along with UFS 3.0 based storage technologies in new 5G foldable phone, maybe Galaxy Fold F. I have already made a dedicated video on LPDDR5 technology and compared it with previous generation RAM models. If you are interested, you can check the cards. In early 2018, UFS 3.0 specs were published by JDEC. Probably this technology is going to see the day of light in this year in many upcoming smartphones. We saw earlier OnePlus 60 came with UFS 2.1 technology. There are a lot of rumors that OnePlus next flagship, the OnePlus 7, is going to come with UFS 3.0 technology. The reason UFS 3.0 supports in a smartphone is significant because it offers faster data input output response that results in snappier booting, quick file transfer, faster app installation and loading times, which makes the overall experience much faster and smoother. This technology also promises better multitasking that will let you play games or watch videos while running apps in the background seamlessly. Ice Universe, a famous leakster, posted a screenshot of UFS 3.0 storage benchmarks comparing with UFS 2.1 on Android Bench. With these benchmarks, UFS 3.0 read speeds are 3 times the UFS 2.1 technology. On the other hand, UFS 3.0's write speeds are 9 times the UFS 2.1. Let's also compare UFS 3.0 technology reads and writes with EMMC as well. 
UFS 3.4 reads and writes are 8 and 20 times the EMMC flash storage respectively. With this, you can understand how superior this UFS 3.4 technology is. There is no way that EMMC stand in competition with superior UFS technology. Apart from the speeds, there are so many features this UFS technology offers. Let's see one by one. This technology has full duplex interface that allows simultaneous reads and writes. On the other hand, EMMC has a half duplex interface that only allows either reads or writes. Furthermore, UFS also has a command queue, which effectively sorts out all the operations and commands to be carried out. What this means is that multiple commands can be adjusted at the same time, and the order of the tasks can be changed accordingly in real time. On the other hand, EMMC, which doesn't feature any command queue, needs to wait for a process to be completed before moving on to the next one. All of this helps UFS technology dominates EMMC. But this is a multi-million dollar question. If UFS storage is that superior and offers these many features, then why don't companies give this technology in all the smartphones? Well, the answer is simple. EMMC is older and cost effective compared to EFS. That's why it's a go-to memory solution for many smartphones and tablets in budget category. You guys saw all the features this UFS technology offers as compared to MMC. Let's see what additional advantages technology offers compared to its previous generation. The UFS technology based devices consume less power. They can withstand high temperature range minus 40 degrees to 105 degrees which makes them more suitable for automotive applications. We can capture a 4K or even 8K video without troubling the handset too much. Another important UFS 3.4 feature is support for multiple RPMBs, which stands for Replay Protected Memory Block. RPMBs are hardware partitions used for securely storing critical data like user building information and DRM content protection keys, etc. RPMB regions are fixed at manufacturing. We all know about digital rights management, DRM in short, right? We can watch HD videos on Netflix and Amazon Prime if you have Wide One L1 security support for our devices. EFS 3.0 with multiple RPMB offers more L1 security as compared to previous technologies. I'll be talking more about Wide One L1 support and how this feature is important in our devices in my upcoming video. Stay connected to the channel. So far, so good. The feature this technology offers are amazing. The question here is, when will we see this piece of tech in our smart devices? Well, as of now, UFS 3.0 technology is only supported by Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 and Samsung Exynos 9820 processor. Though Samsung recently launched Galaxy S10 lineup, which features Snapdragon 855 and Exynos 9820 processor, but there is no mention of UFS 3.0 based storage support. Probably. Samsung kept this secret ingredient for future 5G foldable phones along with LPDDR5 RAM. Samsung already announced UFS 3.4 based memory. And apart from Samsung, Western Digital also announced UFS 3.4 devices for higher end phones. In near future, we'll see so many flagship phones, probably 5G phones, come with Snapdragon 855 support this UFS 3.4 technology. What do you guys say? Which feature do you think is the most interesting about this technology? Do let me know in the comment section below. That's it for now in this video. I hope you find this video informative in understanding UFS 3.0 technology. If you like this video, like it, share it and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get notified. Thanks for watching and hope to see you in the next video. Take care guys. Bye bye.